caffeine intake has been proven time and time again one of the key factors for improving the health of the kidneys. It's not a secret that 90% of people with kidney disease have one or more vitamin deficiencies and solving them can really help. Oh wait, this is interesting. I've personally met people able to reverse kidney disease and I can't stress how much importance they are giving to nutrition. This is why it is of the greatest importance for us to get all the vitamins we need every day, either from the diet or supplements, depending on the vitamin. And certain vitamins also come with hidden properties that not many people or even doctors know about and that can make a huge difference in managing and even reversing kidney disease. Today I will show you the top 7 vitamins with the most powerful hidden healing properties. Don't miss our number 1 in particular because that's a vitamin that has been used in thousands of kidney patients to slow down kidney disease by 44%. Wow, that's amazing. Before that, our number 7 most important vitamin for kidney patients is a vitamin which is crucial for getting rid of excess water and sodium. If you don't get enough of this vitamin from foods or from supplements, water retention and swelling may be direct symptoms. And you may also have trouble sleeping and even become depressed. Unfortunately, this vitamin is often very low in people with kidney disease, so it's something you want to keep an eye on. To get rid of excess water and improve kidney function, get more. Number 7. Vitamin B6 Vitamin B6 is key for anemia, metabolism, brain function, immune health, and it also regulates fluid balance in the body. Studies found evidence that increasing vitamin B6 intake may help reduce water retention. Now, in people with CKD, vitamin B6 levels are often too low. This can directly cause fluid retention. Studies also link low levels of this vitamin to inflammation. One more reason to make sure you are getting enough vitamin B6. In short, how to get enough vitamin B6? You can easily increase your intake of this vitamin B6 by eating foods such as pistachio, quinoa, sunflower seeds, corn, Brussels sprouts, and some fortified foods. If you don't eat these foods regularly, consider a supplement. Most multivitamins made for kidney patients have vitamin B6. Okay guys, before we move on, remember to consult the doctor before making any significant change to your diet or to start supplementing any of these vitamins. These vitamins and foods I recommend in my videos are, however, always safe for those with kidney disease. Our number 6 is a vitamin that's usually forbidden to those with kidney problems. Things may change now since a very recent review of studies found out that those taking this vitamin were able to significantly reduce their creatinine levels. Yes, our number 6 doesn't just have a little known health benefit, it can directly improve kidney function. But it also comes with a risk, so don't take it without getting informed. Let's see why. Number 6 is vitamin E. There is a reason why vitamin E is usually not recommended for those with kidney disease. Vitamin E is a fat-soluble vitamin. This means that it can accumulate when the kidneys do not filter it properly. But on the other hand, a review of studies published very recently shows that this risk may be worth it. This very recent meta-analysis carefully reviewed several placebo-controlled studies conducted on kidney disease patients and demonstrated that those with a higher intake of vitamin E can benefit from reduced markers of oxidative stress, a decrease in proteinuria, the most important marker of kidney damage, a reduction in cardiovascular disease, the number one cause of death. In short, how to get enough vitamin E? The review also concluded that kidney patients can get most of these benefits when eating more foods rich in vitamin E. It's not recommended to supplement vitamin E in high doses. Vitamin E is present mostly in foods such as oils, nuts, seeds, vegetable oils, and green leafy vegetables, but the best source there is is sunflower seeds. 
Now guys, this research on vitamin E is really breakthrough and it's really recent. This is why I talk more in depth about this vitamin in my video up here. Watch it now to know more. Our number five was studied on diabetes patients because of one little known benefit. It can literally reverse diabetic kidney disease. In a breakthrough study, diabetes patients got out of kidney disease completely just by supplementing 300 milligrams a day of this vitamin. Number five is thiamine or vitamin B1. Vitamin B1 is crucial for energy production and it's also needed by the nervous system to work properly. Being it water soluble, thiamine is usually recommended as a part of a multivitamin for those with kidney problems. You should actually be supplementing all B group vitamins if you already aren't. Thiamine also comes with a little known property. According to a study, taking high dose thiamine can protect the kidneys of people with diabetes from damage. According to the authors of this study, diabetic patients in the early stages of kidney disease treated with high dose or 300 mg of thiamine for just 3 months saw a return to normal urinary albumin excretion. Wow, that's great. This means that they actually got out of kidney disease. You should see it in real life. It's incredible. In short, high dose thiamine has been used to reverse early kidney disease in those with diabetes. So if you have diabetes and kidney disease in the early stages, consult your doctor and see if this vitamin can help you. But do not supplement vitamin B1 in high dose if you have kidney disease in the advanced stages. A lower dose of 1.5 mg per day is usually recommended in addition to what you get from food. Good food sources of thiamine include asparagus, whole grains, and seeds. Our number four for today is a really underrated vitamin with some incredible health benefits. Most people take this vitamin as a supplement to help with their teeth and bones, but when it comes to kidney disease, this one is key to fight mineral and bone disorder. Number four, vitamin K2. Vitamin K2 is a long misunderstood fat soluble vitamin that holds great potential. Its function is to regulate calcium deposition, which is of key importance for people with kidney problems. Mineral and bone disorder or too much phosphorus and too little calcium is a very, very common complication of CKD. And it's not just a cause for bone problems such as osteoporosis, it can seriously affect heart and kidney health. It's a common cause of death. This is why I think it's a great news that this supplement can help. Even more important, vitamin K2 is needed when supplementing the kidney vitamin, vitamin D. Taking vitamin D without vitamin K2 may seriously increase your risk of vessels calcification. Now many people ask me, how can I find a multivitamin that really helps the kidneys? There are thousands of vitamin supplements on the market, but very few of them are made with the needs of kidney disease patients in mind. This is why on my website, newhopeforkidneypatients.com, you can now find the only multivitamin supplement actually made from a kidney patient for kidney patients. This is Renal D+. The owner of this brand is a kidney disease patient and an internationally known kidney health expert. He has helped thousands of people taking better care of their kidneys thanks to products like this one. This is mostly a supplement of vitamin D, the most important vitamin for those with kidney problems, but it also contains enough vitamin K2 to avoid the risk linked to vitamin D supplementation. This is an incredibly powerful way of helping kidney health. And this also comes with just enough vitamin E to get the benefits without any of the risks. And there's also a low dose vitamin C source here. Very useful. So guys, take a look down in the description if you are considering trying this multivitamin. Time now for our top three. These are vitamins that come with huge avid little known benefits for those with kidney disease. Our next vitamin is not just very important for the kidneys, it's actually the most supplemented vitamin on earth. And there's a little known reason why you should consider supplementing it. And not just limiting yourself to the amount you can get from foods. I'm talking about Number three, vitamin C. Vitamin C is widely known for its immune boosting function and as an antioxidant. 
and it also plays a crucial role in wound healing, bone and tooth formation, heart health and iron absorption. This is why vitamin C is the most supplemented vitamin on earth. But it also comes with a little known benefit that's crucial for those with kidney problems. It can keep uric acid levels down, protecting the kidneys and the body from the dangers of gout. Oh yeah, that's right. In short, how to get enough vitamin C? Because vitamin C is excreted by the kidney, it is recommended to supplement it in low doses, around 60 to 100 milligrams per day. Doses higher than that should be avoided by people with CKD in stage 4 or 5. When it comes to foods, citrus fruits are a great source of vitamin C, but if you want to keep potassium low, consider bell pepper and kiwi. Our number two now. This is a vitamin you cannot find in any multivitamin that has an incredible benefit for the kidneys of those with diabetes. It was able to lower blood sugar levels by 31.5 mg per dl in just 3 months in a recent study. This is inositol or vitamin V8. Okay, 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 I know. Vitamin V8 it's not really considered a real vitamin anymore, but its benefits are real. Inositol can lower blood sugar levels by 31.5 mg per dl. Those taking it were able to lower their A1C levels from 8.6% to 7.7% in just 3 months. In short, Inositol is not usually supplemented in people with kidney problems, but those with diabetes may really benefit from it. However, there are two types of inositol, my inositol and the chiro inositol. A combination of both was used in the study on diabetes to lower blood sugar levels by 31.5 mg per dl in 3 months. Guys, I don't recommend taking this vitamin before getting informed about it. I talk about this in my last video up here if you want to know more. Time now for our number one. This vitamin comes with the most significant hidden benefit I ever saw in my life. You should see it in real life. It's incredible. It was studied on more than 15,000 Ziggity patients for more than 4 years. This vitamin resulted in a substantial reduction in the risks for a fast decline in kidney function, a significant reduction for the risk of death, and a very significant reduction for the risk of dialysis. We are talking about a huge impact on kidney health here, as they were able to slow down kidney disease by 44%. This is folate or vitamin B9. Test subjects had to take 0.8 mg folate every day to achieve this incredible result. And while you can find folate in many foods including papaya, but also asparagus, spinach, lettuce, orange and more, 0.8 mg folate per day is more than what you can get from a balanced diet. You may want to consider getting informed about a vitamin supplement to get all the folate and the other vitamins you need. This is why in this video up here, I've shown you exactly how to put together for very cheap the best multivitamin possible. And this is all for today. Thank you for watching. God bless.